Senator Rice. Senator Roberts, very quickly. Thank you, Chair, and thank you all for attending. Hello, Mr Hare. Uh, I'll just give some background and then the questions will, will be quick. Very quickly, Senator um, If I can reference the report titled Third Follow-up Audit into the Australian Electoral Commission's Preparation for the Conduct of Federal Elections, that's an AO Audit number 6, 2015-16. This inquiry was called by the Joint Standing Committee on Election, Electoral Matters. The terms of reference were a performance audit focusing on the adequacy of the Australian Electoral Commission's implementation of recommendations arising from earlier ANAO audit reports. Your findings were, and I quote, no meaningful action has been taken, had been taken prior to 2013, the election that triggered the audit. In relation to those recommendations directed towards more secure reporting of election night counts, on the development of comprehensive or the development of comprehensive performance standards for the conduct of elections. And finally, um, conclusion number eight, ANAO plans to undertake a follow-up audit following the next federal election to examine adequacy and effectiveness of the AEC's implementation of these 10 recommendations in that report. Did you do that follow-up audit? We did. We didn't do a follow-up follow audit, Senator, of exactly that nature. We did a further audit, which was which was focused on particular aspects of procurement, including IT for the, for the scanning system following the next election. But no, we didn't follow up each of those recommendations as was then proposed. Thank you. Can you confirm that the AEC now has comprehensive performance standards for the conduct of federal elections? Um, no, Senator, we haven't been in there to conduct a performance audit in this space since that, that one I mentioned. So no, we don't, we don't, we don't have current knowledge as to, as to that, no. I like your quick answers. How, how would anyone know if, that would, if they'd done that? Um, I suspect you'd ask them in estimates. We've asked them lots of times and their questions are, um, uh, their answers are, why um, didn't you do the follow-up audit? That would have been the fourth follow-up audit on the AEC. I think we, what we decided to do was, in the context of what was going on in the, um, in the office at the time, which was the IT procurement that that was probably a, um, a better order to undertake in the AEC. It's not a huge agency, it's not we, one we go into every year, so it's a, about picking the, the topic and at that particular time we thought that was a, that, that procurement audit was a, um, a better topic to undertake. Okay. Can, can you say with confidence that the AEC systems now are fit for purpose? Um, we haven't been into the okay. entity. How can people be assured of the integrity of future elections? Um, I think through the, the parliamentary processes is the appropriate way for um, the community to be assured um, through the oversight the parliament gives of the, the office. I could make a comment. Do you, and not, not against you, do you have the authority to audit? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Okay, my, second, my last question, Chair. In your submission to the Finance and Public Administration's inquiry into my Commonwealth Electoral Amendment Integrity of Elections Bill 2021, Aneo made this statement, and I'll quote, in accordance with the Auditor General's mandate under the Auditor General Act 1997, the Auditor General is empowered to conduct a review of a particular aspect of the operations of the AEC at any time. ANAO could have conducted a follow-up audit in respect of the AEC's non-compliance with multiple ANAO audits, yet you chose not to. Why? I think I've answered But there were multiple audits. We, we were doing... M multiple follow-up audits, sorry. We did multiple follow-up audits, and the last audit we did, I made a decision that the... Um, not not follow-up, but the specific electronics. Yeah, yeah okay. that, that was the reason we... Will did. you audit the next election? Um... I, I, I we haven't considered it. Worth while Senator it also understanding the th the first three follow-up audits followed what happened in the 2013 election with Senate ballot papers in mm -hmm. Western Australia being effectively lost. Right. And whilst there were three audits, that audit was conducted. The then Auditor General received a, a specific request from the Joint Standing Committee of Electoral Matters for us to do follow-up audit work looking at an earlier audit we did of the 2007 election as to whether those recommendations have been implemented. The only reason there were three follow-up audits wasn't, was because the Joint Standing Committee of Electoral Matters wanted us to, wanted particular things looked at very quickly, and so that's why there were three performance audits. So we, we packaged up what are the recommendations we could follow up 
as a higher priority in a shorter time frame and then a medium time frame and a longer time frame. So it was, it was basically, by three audits, it was really packaging out the follow-up of that earlier audit report to meet a request of the Parliament. So, you know... So as Mr Hare said, it's, it's a matter of looking at the, what the follow-up is in context of what's going on. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Chair. Thanks.